Chelsea vs Palmeiras Live Club World Cup Final Updates Cesar as Pilasuda challenges for the ball in the box Chelsea are taking on Palmeiras in the Club World Cup Final today as the Blues look to clinch the trophy for the first time in their history. Defeat to fellow Brazilian side Corinthians in the 2012 final was Chelsea's only previous experience of the showpiece fixture, but they come into this game in Abu Dhabi as favourites to win. Thomas Tuchel has been absent after contracting COVID-19 and missed the semi-final victory over Saudi side Al Hilal, but is back on the touchline here for the final. His side must be wary of 30-year-old striker Dudu, who has 74 goals for the club and knows how to score in the Middle East having spent last season on loan at Qatar Stars League side Al Duhail. Will Chelsea win their first Club World Cup? Follow all the action from the final in Abu Dhabi below. 10. The early stages of this final have largely been played in the middle third of the pitch, with Palmeiras very happy to allow Chelsea to have possession of the ball. The white shirts are sitting in low on top of their penalty area, refusing to press Chelsea or give up any significant space around the edge of the penalty area. They are trying to break at speed when they do regain possession, but the two occasions on which they have been able to do so up to this point have ended with wayward long-range shots from Duda and Rafael Vega. 4. Early chance for Chelsea as a Callum hudson Odoi cross causes chaos in the Palmeiras box, as goalkeeper Weaverton fails to make the catch and falls on top of defender Lewin. The ball spills onto the turf and Cesar Azpilicueta collects, but doesn't seem to realize quite how picked the men in white are and loses the ball when trying to square it across the box. He could potentially have turned and take a shot of his own there. 0. We're now underway at the Mohammed bin Zayed Stadium for the Club World Cup Final. Chelsea are in their standard blue shirts, blue shorts and white socks, while Palmeiras are wearing their white away kit consisting of white shirts, white shorts and green socks. Can the Blues now become world champions for the first time? The South American clubs always take this tournament seriously, with plenty of fans traveling all over the world in order to support their underdogs against the European favorites. Palmeiras fans enjoyed a yacht trip through Dubai a couple of days ago, and they are in fine voice again in the stadium this afternoon. The Independence Miguel Delaney is inside the Mohammed bin Zayed Stadium. Palmeiras are the most successful club in the history of Brazilian football, winning 13 Serie A titles and taking three victories in the Copa Libertadores. The likes of Rivaldo, Roberto Carlos and Cafu have all played for the club, and the current squad would reach a new level of legendary status if they managed to take the trophy back home to Sao Paulo. Their success in the past three few years has been founded in the cup competitions rather than the league, showing they know how to manage knockout tournaments and grind out results in key moments. They will fancy their chances at the Mohammed bin Zayed Stadium. Whichever side wins tonight will become the 10th winner of the Club World Cup since the tournament began in 2000. Liverpool and Manchester United have been champions before, in 2019 and 2008 respectively, while the likes of Bayern Munich, FC Barcelona and Real Madrid have all been successful on multiple occasions. The latter have won the most Club World trophies with four. Three South American sides have been crowned world champions, Corinthians in 2000 and 2012, Sao Paulo in 2005, and South Carolina Internacional in 2006. The good news pre-kickoff for is that Thomas Tuchel is back in the dugout in the UAE. He missed the previous round against Al Hilal due to COVID-19, but has flown to join his squad in time for the showpiece game. You never know if you will play this competition one more time, Tuchel says. I trust my players, colleagues and insists. I was in contact with them, but it's never quite the same. I'm happy I can now be here in Abu Dhabi. We are here to win it all. We want to win it and we will not hide it. The demand of ourselves is that we are able to compete for the win, and we have to Chelsea have never won the Club World Cup before, despite qualifying for the final in 2012, after winning the Champions League against Bayern Munich. Rafael Benitez was Chelsea boss by the time the tournament rolled around in Japan in mid-December, having replaced the sacked Roberto Di Matteo in controversial circumstances. In the final the Blues played Corinthians, fresh off winning the Copa Libertadores themselves, and Peruvian striker Paulo Guerrero's second half goal was enough for them to take the trophy back to Brazil. That was the last time a non-European side won the tournament. Chelsea are huge favourites to take the trophy home this afternoon, of course, but Palmeiras can still pose a significant threat of their own. The Verdão have won two consecutive Copa Libertadores titles in South America and were comfortable winners of Al Ali in the semi-final thanks to goals from Rafael Vega and Dudu. Abel Ferreira's men are also unbeaten in their last 10 matches, dating back to mid-November. Chelsea, Mendy, 
Christensen, Thiago Silva, Rudiger, Azbalaqueta, Conte, Kavasic, Hudson Odoi, Mount, Havertz, Lukaku. Subs, Kipa, Bettinelli, Alonso, Chalapa, Sar, Jorginho, Saul, Barkley, Kennedy, Ziyech, Werner, Pulisic. Palmeiras, Weaverton, Roca, Gomez, Lewin, Piqueras, Danilo, Z. Rafael, Dudu, Viga, Scarpa, Roni. Subs, Benjamin, Jorge, Wesley, Make, Daverson, Lopez, Atuesta, Cerquiera, Navarro, Jailson, Matias, Marcelo, 